I'm back in the workshop and we are going to complete the build of the car Tenna Artemis antenna. I'm making mine a linked dipole. The gents over at Coffee and Ham Radio has provided enough antenna wire so that we can make a 66 foot long antenna, approximately 66. We all know when we tune, we got to make it a little longer or a little smaller. I decided I wanted to make a linked dipole. So when I'm in a smaller space to operate with 33 feet, I can get on 10 meters and 20 meters. But when I have sufficient space to get up the entire antenna, I can work on 10, 15, 20, and 40. So to do that, you make a linked dipole. So it will work at 33 feet or 66 feet. What you're seeing in the picture right now is the link. And I had to MacGyver it together in the field yesterday during tuning. Now we're in the workshop, we're going to do it right. When you're making a linked dipole, you want your stress or your strain relief to be with the carabiner and anything associated with the carabiner. Yesterday, when I was tuning this antenna up in the field, the stress ended up here with this connector. Well, we're going to have banana plugs here. So we want to make sure as we finish this up that we don't have stress on our banana plugs because we don't want the tension pulling them apart. We want the stress and the strain relief to be here with the carabiner. Let's go through that process. First up, let's get rid of this temporary connector that was necessary to tune. Gone. So I placed everybody on the soldering mat that belongs at the party. And I've, I've actually off camera thought about doing a little bit of a change because the well in these banana clips is not as deep as I would like it to be, but it does have a hole on the outside. So I'm going to attempt to weave my wire in through the well that's going to receive the solder out the side and uh, see if that works for me. I think that will end up with a better joint. So the first thing that I'm going to want on is I'm going to want to weave my crimping loop sleeve through. Being careful not to fray my wire because it's not pretend anymore. And then we're just going to take that sleeve and get it really far out of the way because um, we're going to heat this up pretty good based on the mass of this banana plug, I'm going to take a different solder tool to it and get it uh, pretty, pretty hot. So next up will be our heat shrink that will encapsulate the end of our wire and our banana plug. Now let's see if we can weave this wire into that hole. Just going to put a little bend on it. You need miniature hands, and I've got sausage fingers. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That worked. Fantastic. What do you think? Look hot enough to you? As soon as this plug heats up, this solder wire is going to disappear like nobody's business. There we go. There we go. All right, we can touch it now without burning ourselves. It's still a little bit warm. That worked out so much better than I anticipated. So I'm actually not worried now about that shallow well on uh, the connector. I think it's going to be just fine because that is one massive, uh, for this size wire, uh, pool of solder in there. So let's trim off this little piece that came out the hole on the side of the banana clip. And then we're going to shrink wrap this. And I'm going to ride the shrink wrap up as far as I can get it on that banana clip. Not so much that it will interfere when I go to plug it in. Right where it is right now is about perfect. Come up to speed to 572 degrees and five seconds flat. And as usual, shrink tube and this gun are a wonderful combination. That is perfect. 
All right, now that the male side of this banana plug is done, we're going to go to the female side and uh, do the same thing for the cartena side of the antenna. And then we're gonna come back and that's where we'll finish up with crimping the uh, loop sleeve and making sure that the tension and the relief, the strain relief is on the two ends of the loop and not on the banana plug. So we'll come back to you in a minute. So like our prep for the 40 meter extension, I have everything I need here in front of me. We're going to just remove enough wire from the cartena frame to move it aside and only have in front of us here the wire that we're trying to put the other banana clip connector on. Go back as before, remove our temporary zip ties without stripping and nicking and cutting the wire. Fingers will heal wire, we gotta start over. All right, both zip ties off, no damage. Let's check how long the short leg of the wire is. We're about five and a half inches. Let's put our crimping loop sleeve on first. Get it far out of the way. Now on the male end of this connector, oh, they have one too. So there's a little hole here that we're gonna to try to feed the wire through. And it did. All right, we're gonna do what we did last time. I struggled to show you on camera. We'll set up the helping hands in a minute, but I took the awl and just worked this wire down into the cavity until I had all the wire in there. And that way, when we get that big pool of solder in there, there's a sufficient amount of wire to hold it in place. And then we trim off this excess wire on the outside. All right, helping hands, be back to you in a second. Same thing as last time. Let's get our gun up to temp. Let's get that plug hot. And as soon as it's at temp, that solder is gonna flow quick. It's already flowing. Wow, that looks good. We are now cooled down. We're gonna trim that little piece of wire off the end. This turned out fantastic, really like that. Let's bring our shrink wrap where we need it. And we're gonna go pretty far onto this plug with the shrink wrap because the other end that fits in here you know, it goes on the inside. So I want the shrink wrap onto the female and be on there pretty far up. Let's get it into our trusty helping hands. Here we go. One of my favorite things to do. Here we have the two ends of our length dipole. This goes back to my actual antenna that I could deploy at approximately 33 feet on 10 and 20 meters. And if I wanna add this other extension, approximately another 33 feet, I can add 15 and 40 meters. Well, I think you know what's gonna happen here. Now I have an approximate 66 foot long antenna. What do I do to keep the tension from being on this banana plug and pulling it off? Well, here's my strain relief, and I put a carabiner here. So I have to locate where I'm going to crimp my wire so that the strain happens here. Let's make that happen.
and you just play with this till you find the right spot. Put your carabiner in. If I were hanging in a tree right now, my tension is here. Give that more space. Now, if I were hanging in a tree, my tension is on the wire. That's what we want. Okay. If I double loop my wire like I normally do, that's going to even be better yet. Right now, our strain is on the wire. Our strain relief is here. Our banana plugs are good. That's still a lot of wire there. Let's keep playing with it, getting this even smaller. Okay. If I hung it right now. My strain is on the carabiner. We're getting close. We are really getting close. I like that right now. I like that a lot. We're going to go right where we are. Right here, this is going to give me my strain relief on these joints on the carabiner and my banana plugs are free. Take our crimping tool. Get your finger out of the way. One crimp. Two crimps. And now, my friend, you've got a linked dipole. What do you think of that?